Woo! Here we go. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Dies with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today, I'm going to preview and predict tomorrow's big time NFC Championship matchup as you have the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the San Francisco 49ers with a Super Bowl bird on the line, yo. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at your boy. Also, if you are mad and play on Xbox One, I'll have my Xbox One gamer tag in the description box also. Here we go, man. Uh, first, starting off with my Eagles, yo. Last week, um, divisional round, we dominated the New York Giants, thirty-eight to seven. Um, game that just was was got out of hand early and often. Um, you know, the offensive line was great. Lane Johnson was back out there. It was a couple of players where he kind of, you know, held himself. You could see he was favoring the injury a little bit, but most part, the offensive line played great, man. Two hundred and sixty yards per uh, rushing. And then when Jalen Hurts went back to throw, he had clean pockets. Um, Jalen Hurts, you know, didn't put up a huge statistical performance, but um, he was great. You know, when you consider the command of the offense, he had the common presence, um, the way we just was efficient. Um, he did his thing out there, man. Only ran a couple of times. Wasn't His, his legs wasn't needed much, um, but he led the offense. Uh, Miles Sanders ran good. The giant killer, Boston Scott, gets in the end zone again. Kenny Gainwell had over 100 yards rushing. Um, in the receiving court, man, Dallas got it. We had a big game catching and blocking. Um, Devontae Smith caught the the, uh, the big, uh, you know, long pass on the second play of the game to set the tone. Um, he gets in the end zone. A.J. Brown was a little quiet this game, but he did an outstanding job blocking. Um, and then when you look at the defense, man, uh, Hassan Reddick, Brandon Graham were getting in the backfield. All night long, the linebackers played solid. James Bradbury gets a pick. Um, just overall, a really good performance by the team, man. Complete performance, yo. Um, and then you look at the San Francisco 49ers last week. They beat the Dallas Cowboys 19-12. Um, defensive struggle type of game. You know, the O-line did a solid job against Michael Parsons. Um, you know, they had some negative plays in there, but for the most part, they did a solid job. Um, Brock Purdy, you know, he wasn't great, but he, he wasn't bad, you know, uh, he stayed the course, yo, it was, it was a type of game where you just had to be mistake free and take advantages of opportunities that present itself. And he did that. Uh, he had the big throw to George Kittle in the middle of the field. Um, and he protected the football, got away with one, but for the most part, he protected the football. Um, the running game was kind. Of, the running game was kind of stagnant a little bit, but um, on that at that that needed drive where they took the they scored the only touchdown of the of the game of the, of, uh, for them. You know, McCaffrey gets in the end zone. Um, Elijah Mitchell, Erat, Louisiana native, uh, ran the ball hard. Uh, and the wide receiver called Kittle had some big catches. D boy and Ayuk was a little quiet this game, but you know, Kittle was the guy making plays. You know, then defensively, man. Um. You know, the D-line was, was quiet as far as they didn't get a lot of pressure on deck, but the linebackers, man, were outstanding. Fran Warner is just that guy. <laughs> like, I mean, he gets the interception off of a tip ball. He's downfield, like 30, 40 yards down the field, running with C.D. Lamb in the slot. I mean, the guy is just a freak of nature. Um, Greenlaw, you know, plays silent. And in the secondary, Lenore gets a big uh, interception. You know, um, Ward gets a gets a play, makes a play on the ball, which led to a Fred Warner interception. Um, you know, they just did a good job, man. So they number one defense for a reason. Um, looking at the matchup this week, man, like this is this is great on great, man. Um, this is like this is as an Eagles fan, this is the biggest test we've had. Not just as far as. We win this, we go to the Super Bowl, but this is the most talented team we played all year. And I'm kind of excited to see how we respond to playing basically somebody our own size, somebody that looks us right in the eye, you know, from a talent perspective. Um, you know, the, to me, the key, when you think about the Eagles offense going up against the San Francisco 49ers defense, uh, we, we got to protect Jalen Hurts. If Jalen Hurts has protection to when he drops back to throw, um, you know, we could have a good day throwing the ball. The 49ers 
Hufanga is a really good safety, and, and Tashawn Gibson, you know, is, is doing his thing. But the corners are okay; they're not great. You know, Ward, Lenore, and um, um, uh, Ward, Lenore, and um, they both these two wards, Jamie Ward and, and Tra Tra Traverius Ward. Um, we could make plays on them. Um, I think about last year. I know it's another team, another situation. When A.J. Brown was with the Titans, A.J. Brown torched them when they played on a Thursday night last year. Um, and then A.J. Brown kind of, you know, had some things to say, kind of felt some type of way not getting the ball as much. Um, and I feel like we're going to feed him early and often. I feel like this is a big A.J. Brown type of game where we're going to look back and be like, that's why we made the move to get this guy over here. So if we give Jalen Hurts protection, I think we could take advantage uh, with our wide receivers, you know, in the secondary. Um, the key for the 49ers is is to get pressure on Hurts. Um, is to get pressure on Jalen Hurts, you know, putting us in long pass situations. Um, I feel like, you know, we gonna, you know, it, it's not, it's gonna be so so when it comes to running the ball. I don't think we gash this team running like we did against the Giants and like we did against Green Bay earlier this year. But, um, you know, I think we'll do okay. Uh, but to me, the key is us throwing the football to the wide receivers, particularly AJ Brown. Um, and when you look at the other side of the ball, the key to the Eagles defense against the 49ers offense is we gotta, we gotta stop the run. Um, if we put San Francisco in obvious passing situations, third and eight, third and nine, um, I like our chances with our pass rush and our secondary. Um, but we gotta get them into those positions, yo. Um, we can't let them, you know, be able to throw the ball, um, using play action pass because the linebacker's sucking in to try to stop the run and they hit George Kittle in the seams all day or Debo or any of those guys. And we gotta tackle as well, man. This is a really good yak, yards after catch team. Um, and the key for the 49ers is to run the ball. Like, if they run the ball successfully with McCaffrey and Maguire and Debo Samuel, because they do use him as a running back as well, um, it could be a little tough for our defense, you know, getting the Purdy and trying to make the game about him and the environment. Now for my prediction, yo. Like I said, it's two great teams, man. Um, 49ers are big time, yo. This is the two best teams in the NFC. Um, they're on a 12-game winning streak. You know, we've been the best team all year long, the last undefeated team in the NFL. Uh, you know, we we pretty even across the board. But the, the biggest difference is the quarterback position. Jalen Hurts, this is his biggest game. Um, a lot of people are still doubting him out there. Um, he's going up against the number one defense. This is the game for him to go out there and, and, and make his legacy, to leave a mark on the NFL. Um, I think we pull it off, man. I think us being at home, um, you know, with him and just the motivation behind it, uh, I think it's a big A.J. Brown game. And I think the defense make make enough stops. Uh, I like the Eagles to win this game. I'm going to go 24-20 to 20 and go to the Super Bowl. Hopefully I'm right. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.